friendly folks in my hometown. I long to see the candles in the windows oh so bright, and the Christmas trees glitter in the breeze, saying well. Softly singing by the fireside, all glow. Children's laughter loudly ringing as they battle in the snow. My heart is winging homeward as the snow comes falling. Christmas, everyone. Oh, 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 how are you doing there? Merry Christmas. A Merry Christmas to you. The Bulls tickets to your friends, the Crystal tractors to your clients, and the fruitcake to the people you can't stand but have to be nice to. Yeah, it's great. Anything else? You are late for your meeting. Ooh. Thank you, Annie. <laughs> Folks, I'm going to cut to the chase here. Profits are down and we have to take action. After much thought and consultation, we've decided to downsize Beans Tractor Corporation by laying off personnel at the factory level. I'm not happy about this, but our consultants tell us we have no other choice. All right, folks. You've been selected for a very rare opportunity to save beans by traveling to our factories, assessing their productivity, and cutting personnel by 50%. You have your assignments in front of you. Don't you think that's kind of a cruel thing to do? I mean, it being the holidays and everything? Uh, we'll wait until after Christmas before the pink slips go out. Well, how are we going to find out the truth if everyone knows why we're there? I mean, won't they be on their best behavior? Secrecy is vital to the process. You'll be visiting our plants under the guise of being prospective clients. We have a phone line set up in case anyone checks your story. You have five days, then we'll all meet back here Christmas Eve for the annual Christmas party. Okay? Good luck, everybody. Uh, Mr. Gosling? Excuse me, sir. Mr. Gosling, um, I can't do this. Jake, we've known each other a long time. I think of you as a son, a son who will take over the company when I retire. Oh, I appreciate that, sir. You know I do. It's just that uh, Athens, Nebraska is my hometown. Well, it should be simple for you to assess the workforce there. You know the people. Well, not anymore. I moved away when I was just a boy, but, uh, but that's not the point, sir. I understand. I mean, perhaps I could trade towns with uh, George or Katie. Jake. Someday this company could be yours. Maybe you want it, maybe you don't. Part of a job like mine is having to make difficult decisions. You have to decide whether you're that man, Jake. It's up to you.
Don't tell me that's you. <laughs> yeah. It's right out of Norman Rockwell, isn't it? <laughs> Ever wonder what you would have become if you'd stayed? take anything else, like money or something that could be used as a weapon. Yeah. Just the angel. Yeah. You know, my diorama has been an Athens Christmas tradition since 1956. It's a valuable asset to the community and an important tourist draw. Yes, ma'am. Without the angel, it's just not the same. Things aren't like they used to be. That's for sure, Margie. Well, I feel better just knowing you here, Tom. More coffee? No, thanks. I better get right on it. You know, the more time that elapses between the crime and the search, the farther away the criminal or criminals can get. You mean this could be a ring? Hi, Margie. Hi, Emma, the usual? Yes, please. Coming right up. Good morning, honey. Um, I'm on call, Emma. Oh, I'm sorry. We had a burglary. We did? My angel! Who would do such a terrible thing? Uh, times are changing. Lock your doors, Margie. Will do, Tom. Bye, hon. Bye. Got yourself a good man there, Emma. When are you two getting married? Oh, we'll get around to it someday. Mm. I'll see you. God willing. I have to do some shopping after rehearsal today, okay? No, well, I don't want you wasting your money on me. It's my money, and I can do what I want with it. I'm practically an adult, Mom. You are going to pick me up, aren't you? Oh, I'll be there early. I heard there's a blizzard coming. Have a good day at school. Mwah! Oh, Mom. Hey, Joe. Hey, sis. Dad inside already? Where else were you? Blueberry. says 10, 12 inches. Joe, Dad, is it true? There's no way Beans is going to downsize us. How could they ever think such a thing? Beans headquarters has always known what a valuable plant this is. It seems they've forgotten. So we're going to have to remind them. We'll bring up our quotas, yeah. work our butts off, and show them we're the best darn plant they got. Yeah! Y'all yeah. yeah. up for a fight? Yeah! yeah. Well, I guarantee you things will work out. They always have and they always will. So go home and come back tomorrow ready to work, yeah. and let's show them. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go. Way to go. Hey, mister. Mister. Hey, uh, mister. Fix your car. Oh, hey, yeah, parts for a BMW here. Yeah, used a coat hanger.
Your attention, please. Happy? Pay attention, will you please? Thank you. Now, as we all know, we only have a few more days to rehearse until the big night. So, that means you all have to look at your songbooks and memorize the words. Got it? Okay. Let's try it again from the top. One, two, three, and... Stop! Stop! Happy, what song are you singing? Angels we have heard go high Sweetly sing on aeroplanes No, no, no. We did that song an hour ago, and anyway, those aren't the right words. Ruth knows the right words. Who's Ruth? My wife. You don't have a wife. Where'd she go? She left you half a long time ago. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Okay, everybody. Let's try it again from the top. One, two, three, and... I'll get it right in a while, I promise. I know you will, Hap. What you get in your mom for Christmas? Some earrings I saw at the store. They're really expensive, but I've been saving up for a year. Well, sounds pretty swanky. She deserves it. She's seeing this guy and everything, but she still seems pretty lonely. I have to watch her every minute. She needs something nice to happen to her. You're a good kid, Noel. I wish I had a kid like you. Well, looks like we're gonna get a white Christmas after all. Something wrong? They're terrible. Everyone at the Bean Christmas dinner is going to hate us. Your chorus, you mean? They sing off key and they can't remember the words. What am I going to do, Mom? Oh, I'm sure everybody will love them. Even Happy's terrible. In fact, he's the worst. No, well, he can't do any better. He's old. That's totally ageist, Mom. What if I said that about you? I'm not old. Oh, that's a matter of perspective, isn't it? Like this. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, if it's easy. Do you like Tom better than you liked Dad? Where on earth did you get an idea like that? Sorry. Oh, no one can replace your father. You know that. It's just that I'm not sure Tom is Dad material. All. That's because you don't remember your father. You don't know what they're like. I just want to make sure you know what you're doing. You're going to have to take my word on that. I'm sorry, Mom. It's okay. I miss your dad, that's all. Me and my big mouth. I'm such a geek. Noel, it's all right. Noel! <sighs> Teenager. Come on, come on. 
there's a light in the house across the road. What? There's somebody in there, but it's abandoned. That's a little extreme. I just want to know if you're trespassing. I didn't mean to. Are you the one that's been breaking into places around here? Look, I had car trouble. By the time it got fixed, it was snowing so hard. I, I missed the road on the way to my hotel, and I skidded into a ditch. I was, I was looking for some help. I think we'd better go back to my place and call the sheriff. I am not a criminal. That happens to be my car outside. Now, would a thief drive a car like that? Only if he stole it. Come on. Come on. Go on. Wow. So I'll only take a minute. Does your mom know you're a criminal? I'm not a criminal. Hi, Tom, it's me. I, I caught someone breaking into the place across the road. You look like a criminal. Well, I've had a bad day. What's your name? Jake Peterson. Jake Peterson. I work for the Cobra Farm Corporation. I'm here on business. He says he's a businessman. He's in snakes or something. I thought maybe he was your burglar. Do you have any ID? Of course I have ID. Uh, look, my wallet must have fallen out. No ID. Tom, I am not going to do that. The sheriff says I have to search you. Lady, I'm, I'm an executive. I'm the Pope. Just don't make any funny moves. I'm going to... Feel around. You better listen to her. The sheriff's her boyfriend. Ah, ah, ah. You missed a spot. That's all right. There's nothing on him. What? Are you sure? Well, what am I supposed to do? Tom, I can't do that. It's freezing out there. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I promise. Bye. Well, it seems that the roads are closed on account of the snow. <laughs> Sheriff says I should tie you up and put you in the barn till he can get here tomorrow, but I think that's a little excessive. You're going to have to stay with us tonight. Oh, thank you. The program is sponsored by the Black & Decker Dustbuster. Everything's bustable with the cleaning power of the Dustbuster. Wherever there's dirt, there should be a Dustbuster. Everything's bustable with the cleaning power of the Dustbuster. Built by Black & Decker. Excuse me, which brand of children's cold medicine have moms used more? Dimatap. Uh, yeah, 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 but which brand is recommended most by pediatricians? Dimatap. Oh. Now, he's got to have something that tastes good. Well, how about the great grape taste of Dimatap? And we've read we should use a cold medicine that's PPA-free. Oh, well, in that case, I'd still go with Dimatap. <laughs> New formula Dimatap, the brand that's doctor-recommended, proven at home. Old Mr. Kringle is soon gonna jingle The bells that'll tingle all your troubles away Everybody's waiting for the man with the bag Cause Christmas is coming again 
He's got a sleigh full, it's not gonna stay full He's got stuff to drop at every stop of the way Everybody's waiting for the man with the back Cause Christmas is coming again Christmas is here again You're looking at a new breed of cat The ones who keep their litter box fresh, themselves Fresh Step's exclusive paw-activated formula releases odor neutralizers for unbeatable odor control. Fresh Step, always a step ahead. This is my mom. Another perfect holiday. I was seven and mom was amazing. She always knew to make Czech's party mix. The good stuff. All seasoned and toasted fresh from the oven. You know what's great about the holidays now? It's my turn to be mom. You kids want some chicken nuggets? A phony Santa giving away mystery meat nuggets? Not today. Now, taste the holiday cheer of all white meat KFC popcorn chicken. KFC popcorn chicken. Get an individual size for only $1.99 or a party size for only $6.99. You know, that's better than fruit cake. This holiday, break with tradition with a Terry's chocolate orange. Rich chocolate with a touch of orange flavor you whack and unwrap. Terry's. The original chocolate orange. Smashing good taste. Shrek. Looking for the perfect holiday gift? Pick me! Pick me! Then look no further because Shrek is now on video and DVD. It's the one gift everyone wants. I got mine! It's the start of your day, and you've got to get moving. But what happened last night? What's happening today? And how will it affect you? Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Paula Zahn. For the latest news, check in with Paula Zahn and catch up with the world around you. There is now firm evidence linking... Take advantage of over 20 years of knowledgeable, trustworthy experience. Start your day with Paula Zahn every weekday morning at 7 a.m. Another reason you can depend on CNN. Lifetime Sports presents the ISU Grand Prix of figure skating. The world's best compete on the road to the Olympics. Watch Elena Bereshnaya and Anton Sigrulitsi compete in Cup of Russia at 6 tomorrow, only on Lifetime. On Unsolved Mysteries. Anna Velasquez, murdered in front of her co-workers. Was she gunned down by her ex-boyfriend? Investigators say yes, and Anna's not the first woman he's attacked. Unsolved Mysteries at 8 p.m. tomorrow, only on Lifetime. Mrs. Murphy, I assure you I'm not a thief. Now, why don't you just call down to the New Athens Hotel? I'm sure they have a reservation in my name. Well, that would just prove that you plan your crimes ahead. I hope you like meatloaf, Mr. Peterson. Well, not as much as I'd like to get cleaned up right now. Cleaned up? Oh, well, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm filthy. Oh, we've noticed all right. But it's not polite to say anything, oh. you know? Just in case you've had a bad childhood or something? Oh, believe me, my folks have nothing to do with how I turn out. It doesn't mean you're unredeemable, Noel. Oh, thank you. I'm certainly glad someone has faith in me. I work at the old people's home. It's volunteer. When I'm 16, they'll pay me. If I can get a job, you can. Noel, we don't even know who he is yet. He might be telling us the truth. Gee, does that mean you're going to let me get cleaned up? Sure, yeah. Um... Bathroom's upstairs. Just leave your clothes outside the door and I'll throw them in the wash. Thank you. Mr. Peterson, I left you some clean clothes. Mr. Peterson? Uh, I 
knocked. I thought... I, I, I didn't hear you. Do I look like a felon? Ooh, -hoo. Noel, please. You're cute. I'm glad someone thinks so. I mean it. You're a total fox. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even know what a fox is. Everybody knows that, Mom. Yes, well, not in my house. Well, thanks for the clothes. Look, do we, we really need to keep this thing out? I guess not. But don't try anything funny. She knows how to use it. Okay. Sit down. Where'd you learn to shoot? My husband. Oh, scared him off, huh? No, he's dead. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Thanks. If you're not a criminal, then how come you broke into that house instead of coming over here? Our light was on. Well, I, um, I didn't want to bother anybody. Look, I, I know what you're thinking, but I, I came to Athens on business, I swear. The, the company I work for is interested in buying some farm equipment from Beans. From Beans? Oh, uh, yeah. Equipment? Yeah. Oh, we have land all over the West, and we grow corn and soybeans and that sort of thing. And I came here to see if the bean plant could handle an order for a fair number of tractors. What's a fair number? Uh, say, 80. 80? Does that sound like too many? 80 tractors? Or does it sound like too few? It sounds like a miracle. Are you serious? Don't I sound like it? Are you always this insecure? Oh, well, I, I'm new at this job, and uh, if, I, if I pull it off, I get a big promotion, so I just wanted to make a good impression. Oh, oh, you're making an impression, all right. You know, I can arrange a meeting for you with the head of production at Beans. You can? You know him? Yeah, I know him. You could say we're pretty close. Really? I work at Beans. You do? Oh, isn't that wonderful? What a coincidence. Isn't it? Well, I've got to go do some chores, and uh, just in case this is all a dream, I I'd like you to come with me. Oh, oh, I understand. But well, I'll help you. You don't look much used to hard work. Well, I'm a quick learner. All right, come on. Okay, you can uh, muck out the empty stalls. There's pitchfork right there. Hey. Here you go, guys. So you raise animals, huh? Oh, no, I uh, kind of just take them in. Uh, this horse was left at the vet's. He was half starved. The goats came from a farm that went bankrupt. And the pot belly pig out there, he just uh, showed up on the doorstep one day. <laughs> Well, I admire people who aren't afraid of hard work. So do I. Oh. Uh, here? Yeah, let's see. You know what happened to those people who used to live across the road? Uh, sort of, not really. The place has been empty ever since we moved in here. How many years is that? Oh, uh, what, six? Why? Nice house. It was. Merry Christmas. Noel, it's Tom. Let me speak to your mom a minute. Oh, she's in the barn. She's where? She's in the barn. Alone? She's not alone. She's with Jake. They're doing chores. He's really great. And he looks completely different without his clothes. I gotta go. See ya. Dave? We got an emergency out at Emma's. Do me a favor, would you? 
Call the highway department, see how long it's going to be before the plows get through out there. You work this whole farm all by yourself? Uh, nights and weekends. During the week, I, uh, drive a forklift at Beans. Oh. So how is it working at Beans? I don't know. I've never worked any place else. My brother works there, my dad. He's the, uh, head of production. Oh. He loves that place. It's like a second home. Hi, buddy. You just pour that in that bucket right there. Runs a, runs a tight ship, huh? Hmm. Everybody who works for him just loves him. Oh, it's not so important that the workers love you. What's important is that they do their jobs efficiently. Where did you hear that? Well, I happen to have an MBA from Northwestern. I happen to have a VCR from Japan. Doesn't mean I know how to use it. You don't know much about business, do you? <laughs> if the employees don't admire and trust the boss, they don't work as well, see? Well, sometimes the boss has to do things he doesn't want to do. Things the workers wouldn't like for the good of the company. Thanks. That never happens here. That's why Beans is such a great place to work. Nobody says things like that anymore. We do. Here in Athens. Mr. Peterson, we can fill that order of yours for 80 tractors easy. Think so? Oh, I know so. People in this town like working hard. Makes them feel good about themselves. They take a lot of pride in their work and they'll do anything to keep this plan open. Oh. Is it in danger of being closed? Not anymore. On Lifetime, everything's set for Christmas, but this year they don't want presents. We need a doctor. Find us a doctor yet? Yeah. This is our latest response. It's another rejection. They're asking her for a miracle. The whole reason that everybody's been so nice to you is because they want you to take over for Doc Jenkins. If we don't find a doctor, we're going to have to close the hospital. And Jillian and Robert Hayes, I'll be home for Christmas at 9 tomorrow night on Lifetime. Campbell's was good. This makes it better. Two-step recipes. Just brown chicken, add Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, and simmer. So you're only two steps away from a home-cooked meal. I thought you were going to be late. Did I, did I say that? Campbell's two-step chicken. We're doing the dishes. Mm -hmm. Share the gift of Stetson. Starting December 7th, Monsters, Inc. is funnier than ever with never-before-seen outtakes. Real sweet. Good morning! Ah! Cut! Is I scary? Do I get the part? Monsters, Thank Incorporated. You. Rated G. Outtakes begin December 7th. This holiday, break with tradition with a Terry's Chocolate Orange. Rich chocolate with a touch of orange flavor you whack and unwrap. Terry's. The original chocolate orange. Smashing good taste. Totino's pizza rolls are so easy, kids can make them on their own. Pepperoni pizza stuffed into a bite sized roll. Totino's. It's how kids help themselves. This is my mom. Another perfect holiday. I was seven, and Mom was amazing. She always knew to make Jack's party mix. The good stuff. All seasoned and toasted fresh from the oven. You know what's great about the holidays now? It's my turn to be Mom.
It's Sears Portrait Studios Holiday Sale. Get your holiday portraits for only $6.99 a sheet. It's a great time to bring in your whole family. And during Sears Portrait Studios Holiday Sale, you can choose your favorite poses and sizes, featuring our new holiday backgrounds and props. Get your holiday portraits for only $6.99 a sheet during Sears Portrait Studios Holiday Sale. Hurry in. Okay, so he like looks at his window one night, see, and there's this guy walking through his forest. But this is like illegal or something, so his guards get all concerned. But he says, let's invite that homeless man to dinner. Isn't that cool? That is cool, yeah. Those blisters should heal up pretty quick. Thanks. You know, Mr. Peterson, if you really want to get to know Beans, you should come to our annual Christmas dinner. Oh, Mom, he's from the city. He wouldn't want to come to our silly old dinner. Well, he might. It's a company tradition, and I know they would love to have you. We have a big potluck down at the rest home, and everybody who works for Beans is invited. <laughs> this year, I'm in charge of the Senior Citizens Chorus. Only don't expect much. <laughs> <laughs> So, you ever think of becoming a dad? Well, um, it's kind of personal. I can't believe I said that. I'm a total banana. <laughs> it's bedtime, Noel. I'm going to get a face here in the morning. Oh. Good night. Good night. Teenager. Must be hard raising a kid all by yourself, Mrs. Murphy. Oh, uh, call me Emma, if you want to. Emma. How did your husband die? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to, Emma. Well, I'm... just not used to talking about it. He died in a car accident. It was snowing like this, and it was around Christmas, like now. And his car went off the road, kind of like yours. Only he wasn't lucky like you. I'm sorry. Me too. We had all these plans. You seem like the kind of person who'd be married again, maybe. Maybe. Well, you seem like the kind of person who lands on her feet, you're... Intelligent, attractive. True. <laughs> <laughs> and why haven't you? Um, too picky, I guess. <laughs> what about you? Are you married? Me? No. Well, how come? You're intelligent, attractive. True. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good worker. A little slow, but thorough. <laughs> and you're a good listener, too. And you ask the kind of questions that people like to answer. Marriage is not for me. Why not? Well, I've seen what it can do to two people when it doesn't work. So, are your parents still alive? Uh, my mother is. Um, and I don't know whether my father is or not. We moved away after the divorce and uh, tried to keep in touch with him, but it was hard. We argued. And then a couple of years ago, he just disappeared. I tried to find him for a while, and, and I just gave up. So he doesn't know how you turned out? No, he does not. Well, it seems to me that you turned out pretty well. You know, I've never told anybody that before. Why not? I was ashamed of myself, I think. Why'd you tell me? I don't know. Ah, uh, it's bedtime. Right. I hope you'll be comfortable here, Mr. Peters. Oh, Jake. I'm sure I will be. Well, good night, Jake. Good night, Emma.
Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yes, but I never do anything that has a saying attached to it. Just try a little cereal. Okay. For me. Mm. You did it. See? It's not that hard. No more. Don't talk with your mouth full. <clears throat> Emma, I, uh, I wanted to do something for you to pay you back for uh, taking me in last night. You don't have to do that. No, but I want to. If you hadn't found me, it would have been a very cold night. I owe you. I can think of a few things. So is your mom, uh, is she just dating this sheriff, or is she serious about him? She's serious. Everything my mom does is serious. Yeah. My dad was like that. Really? What'd your dad do? He was a farmer. Does he still have the farm? I don't know. I don't even know where he is. How come? Oh, we moved away and I lost touch. Probably wouldn't even know him if I met him. I never knew my dad. Well, how do you feel about that? It's weird because even though I never knew him, I still miss him. Does your mom know about that? No. Talking about him bothers her. You know what I used to do? When I miss my father, I used to pretend that he was sitting in the same room with me, and then I would talk to him as if he was right there. You didn't feel like a total dork talking to a chair? <laughs> well, later on, but not in the moment. Maybe I'll try that. Your dad must have been a very good man to have a daughter like you. I wish he knew. Hey, Jake! I'm gonna go try and dig your car out. You wanna come? How come you don't drive a Beans? They don't make one I can afford. If they had any brains at the corporate headquarters, they'd make an economy model for folks like me. They're not broken. They're just bruised a little. A little. Don't be a baby. Ow. It hurts. You'll get over it. You're very comforting. Well, thank you. I try to be useful. Jake, about those tractors that you want being to build for you, I've been thinking about look, it. Look, look, we, we don't have a deal yet. Well, I know we can do it, and we can give you a great price to boot. Yeah, yeah but uh, there's a lot of details to work out. You know, in the business world, it's very risky. See, one minute you got a deal. I lied to you before. We are in trouble. Beans wants to downsize us. Half this town will be out of a job. You know? Well, everybody knows. Jake, if you give us this contract, you could save this town. Emma... There's something that... I want to tell you. Oh. Excuse me. Don't shoot him! I didn't bring my gun. Tom. Tom. Tom, this is Jake. Jake, this is Tom. Sheriff Tom. Her fiancé. Right. My, my fiancé. Mr. Peterson, you're going to have to come with me. You can't take him. Noel, just calm down. It's illegal to break into somebody's house, Noel. Mom, do something. Tom. Tom, you're making a big mistake. Jake is going to save our town. You know, I don't care if he's going to save the whales. This guy is guilty of trespassing. Jake, I'm sorry. No, I... I'll be okay. I, I can clear this all up with just one phone call. I'll come visit you in jail. Tom is not putting him in jail. Tom is driving him to his hotel. Got it? So that Jake can call the big corporation he works for who wants us to build 80 tractors for them and tell them the deal is on. Got it? So that headquarters will see we're the most productive branch they've got. Got it? Got it. I guess we can talk about this later. Right. But for now, I need you two out of here. I gotta make some phone calls. 
Come on, Mr. Peterson. You staying at the Athens? Uh, right. Uh, Emma. Thank you. Thank you. Kissing? Absolutely not. Where did you get an idea like that? I knew it. You like him. Sometimes I'm so smart, I surprise myself. The magic at the J.C. Penny Huge Sale Saturday only. Save up to sixty percent store wide. Extra savings before noon. This magic. Extra savings mean extra gifts. It's all inside J.C. Penny. Space camp for your daughter, zero dollars. Grand Prix lessons for your dad, zero dollars. A celebrity chef for your sister, zero dollars. <laughs> Giving them something that wasn't on their list. Priceless. Use your MasterCard and you could win five priceless gifts, including an African safari. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Introducing the Healing Garden Waters, inspired by waterborne botanicals. A new idea in fine fragrance. The Healing Garden Waters. Holistic fragrances for mind, body, and spirit. A duke from the 19th century. A woman from the 21st. This Christmas. I found a crack in the fabric of time. Worlds will collide. So you must be Sergeant Pepper. Someone has to keep an eye on him. Why are you standing? I'm accustomed to stand when a lady leaves the table. Cause you're Made Ryan. Hugh Jackman. I want more of this. More 1876. Kate and Leopold. Rated PG-13. In theaters everywhere, Friday, December 21st. How do those missing teeth feel? Okay. I never minded losing teeth. You made the noodles easy to slurp. Try it. Campbell's has that comforting combination of tender chicken, fresh egg noodles, in a rich golden broth. <laughs> Campbell's. Mm-mm, good. What's up, shorty? Hey there, half by Muscle head. Bicep boy. Mr. Lift a lot. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you free on Saturday? Play Ultimate Outburst. You get a topic, then shout the answers. No shop, facelift. Ultimate Outburst. This is my mom. Another perfect holiday. I was seven and mom was amazing. She always knew to make Czech's party mix. The good stuff. All seasoned and toasted fresh from the oven. You know what's great about the holidays now? It's my turn to be mom. Finally, Mitsubishi. Now open. Expect to pay less. Drive free till 2003. Finally, Mitsubishi. Zero down. Zero interest. Zero payments. Finally, Mitsubishi. Expect to pay less. Tonight, 10 Eastern on CN8 News. Tis the season for holiday cheer. You don't want it to end in tragedy. Tips you can use to keep your Christmas tree fire safe. Now more than ever, CN8 News. Tune in, find out. Whether you're into mariachi or metal, we've got a channel for whatever gets your groove on. 44 commercial free music channels from Comcast Digital Cable. Taking back our town, a true story about the power that lies in each of us. 
premieres at 9, Monday night, only on Lifetime. Next Thursday night, don't miss all of the excitement as Lifetime presents Disney's American Teacher Awards. Hosted by Patricia Heaton at 7 next Thursday night, only on Lifetime. Sorry about the mix-up back there, Mr. Peterson. I was just doing my job. I understand perfectly. Just glad it all worked out. So what's all this about you saving the town? Oh, the company I work for has a big order. You know, you couldn't have picked a better group of folks than the ones at Beans. Morning, Tom. Morning, Betsy. Well, I haven't really made a decision yet. Oh, you'll pick Beans. Little joke there. Uh, <laughs> there are many qualified companies. Yeah, but none like Beans. And of course, the final decision, not up to me. You'll convince them, especially once you see our plant. Don't tell me you work there, too. No, but my mom does. And seven brothers and sisters. My grandpa did. My uncle did. It's all right. I get the picture. Look, I'll have one of the guys dig your car out of the ditch out there and bring it into town. Thanks very much. Well, here's your hotel. Now, listen, just so you know, catch you doing anything illegal, I'll warn you 10, maybe 20 times, and I'll have to crack down. Can't show favoritism. Thanks, Tom. You bet. Have a good day. There you go. Careful. Margie. Yeah. Margie, has my dad been in for lunch yet? He got his to go. Okay. Now listen. If a very handsome guy in a suit comes in here, be real nice to him. I mean, real nice. What's up? He's here to check out beans. He's got an order for 80 tractors, and he needs somebody to build them. Hey, oh, my. Get him to try your apple pie. I sure will. Hey, everybody, oh, listen up. Did you hear the news? What's that? Mrs. Murphy told me all about your terrible ordeal. <laughs> Thank the Lord she rescued you. Yeah, you don't by any chance moonlight at beans, do you? <laughs> no, I moonlight here. Beans is my main job. I'm a welder. Been there 12 years. I love it. Uh, yeah, just love it. It's so nice to have you here. If there's anything I can do for you, you just let me know. Uh, I'm having some uh, money wired to me. Can you let me know when it arrives? The minute it gets here, I'll bring it up personally myself. No, that's all right. Just call. I'll come down. Anything you want, Mr. Peterson. And Mr. Peterson, thank you. For what? Being here. Sure is going to lift people's spirits. to the Athens Country Cafe. Um, may I interest you in some of my homemade pie? I win the prize for it at the county fair every year. Oh, I bet you'd like some coffee. Uh, no, uh, no coffee. I'm trying to watch the caffeine. Oh. Um, you wouldn't by any chance happen to have a Caesar salad on your menu, would you? Caesar salad? Yeah. No. We have a nice chef salad. But I'll tell you what, I'll call around and see if anybody has a good recipe. Mm -hmm. I'll whip you up a Caesar in no time. No, don't bother. Um, chef salad would be fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. Well, coming right up. I'm going to make it myself. Harold, I'll be Oh, yeah. Mr. Peterson, I'm Joe Marsden. Emma's brother? Oh, hi. Mr. Peterson, what you're doing for this town is nothing short of heroic. Well, I, you know, I haven't even been out to the plant. I know, I know. But you'll see. We got the best workforce in this whole darn country. You can bet on that. We'll show you. Margie... Put Mr. Peterson's lunch on my tab. It's on the house. But I want to pay for it. You don't have to. Well, I beat you to it. 
I gotta do something no, for him. No, you don't. Well, think of something else. Really, you, you don't have to do anything, really. This hat was my grandfather's. It's been in my family three generations. It's my most prized possession. We'd like to thank you for all you're doing. Tom, have you seen Jake? Not since I dropped him at the hotel. Thanks. Emma, come back here a minute. Is there anything that you want to tell me? Like what? You know. No, I don't. You know, Emma, I know what it's like to meet somebody who seems kind of rich. Oh, Tom. Just because he's different doesn't make him better. Oh, Tom. Forget about this guy, will you? I mean, you don't even hardly know him. Oh, Tom. What? How could you even think I'd be interested in a guy like that? Well, it sure looked that way. That man could single-handedly save this town. That doesn't mean you have to make a fool out of yourself chasing after him. I was just being polite. I'll say. I was making him feel at home. So this is just an act? Of course it is. I, I hardly even know the guy. How could I be in love with someone I hardly even know? Oh, you're in love with him then. How could you say such a thing? I didn't, you did. I am not in love with anybody. Well, I, uh, except you, of course. Um, I gotta go. I'll see ya. Have a nice day. Bye. I've been looking all over for you. You're late for your meeting. What meeting? At Beans. What now? No time like the present. Nice hat. How about tomorrow? I mean, I, I, I have to recover from my ordeal, and I uh, was hoping to have a little fun. Fun, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, you do have fun here, don't you? So why don't you uh, call in sick and show me around town? Covered? Absolutely. I can't remember when I had such a good time. Certainly not since I was a teenager. Well, I'm glad. So, I'll um, meet you bright and early for breakfast. Emma, Emma uh, wait. Yes? I, um... <laughs> yes? I, I had fun. Me too. Good. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Hi, I'm Leah Thompson. Join me for a sneak peek of Lifetime Movie Network from the Hollywood Pictures backlot at Disney's California Adventure Park. It's an exclusive look at the kind of movies you can see 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Only on Lifetime Movie Network. Plus, you'll also have a chance to win a family vacation for four to experience the fun at Disney's California Adventure Park. This is a sneak peek you won't want to miss. All day, starting at 10 a.m. Sunday on Lifetime. 
Lifetime Sunday, a night of gripping original dramas. At 8 on Strong Medicine, an overworked doctor comes down with the flu, or so she thinks. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Then at 9 on The Division, Magda's on the trail of a missing person, her friend. It's Jenny, I can't find her. And at 10 on Any Day Now, Emmy's had a tough year, so how is she coping? They don't even look at me at all anymore when I'm getting undressed. Three powerful original dramas, one place to be. Lifetime Sunday, starting at 8 p.m. Sunday, only on Lifetime. Dry skin is a nasty little problem, but extra dry skin, now that's a big problem. Fortunately, there's advanced therapy from Lubriderm with special nutrients and vitamins. Advanced therapy. Later, Gator. Totino's pizza rolls are so easy, kids can make them on their own. Pepperoni pizza stuffed into a bite-sized roll. Totino's, it's how kids help themselves. I hope this finds you. I think of you every day. I miss being asked for my advice and loving you enough to always tell you the truth. I'm still here, you know. When you need me, when you're ready, love always, God. Our hearts, our minds, and our doors are always open. The people of the United Methodist Church. Hello. Uh, it's 7.30 at night. Decent people are trying to sleep. What are they thinking? Rest up. Saturday from 7 to 10 a.m., save an extra 10% off almost everything, even sale prices. Only at Sears or else. Bye-bye. Hey, Santa. Oh, I should have used Preparation H. Preparation H Cooling Gel. Cools on contact for fast relief. <laughs> Preparation H Cooling Gel. Cools on contact. This is my mom. Another perfect holiday. I was seven, and Mom was amazing. She always knew to make Czech's party mix. The good stuff. All seasoned and toasted fresh from the oven. You know what's great about the holidays now? It's my turn to be Mom. Looking for the perfect holiday gift? Pick me! Pick me! Then look no further, because Shrek is now on video and DVD. It's the one gift everyone wants. I got mine! Wherever there's dirt, there should be a dust buster. Everything's bustable with the cleaning power of the dust buster. Built by Black & Decker. For itchy patches of dry winter skin, moisturizers can't always cut it. Buy Cortisone 10 Plus. Among these, only Cortisone 10 Plus has 10 moisturizers, plus the power of Cortisone 10 to stop itch and help heal. Try Cortisone 10 Plus. Holiday dishes, anything to please, but only one is hot and flaky, made with ease. Present first on the table, they're going fast. Grab one quick, they're gone in a flash. <laughs> We now return to Christmas in My Hometown on Lifetime. run for mayor after this. Emma, listen to me. Wait till you see our operation out there, Jake. You won't be able to say no. Emma, wait. I know what you're going to say. And I want you to know that I know it didn't mean anything. What did? Yesterday and the day before that. Yes, it did. But we're not important. Yes, we are, and, and that's why I got... Jake, it's impossible. I'm... I'm corn and cows and tractor parts, and you, you're... You're Chicago and noise, traffic, parties and culture. Can you, can you honestly say you're willing to give that up? I'm not sure what I want anymore. What well, doesn't matter? You're in a position to do some real good here, Jake, and I, I'm not going to let any 
silly feelings get in the way of that. If you want to do something for me, then do something for this town. Then you can go back to your big city, and I can go back to my little farm. We can write Christmas cards and wonder if we should have changed our lives. That's how these things go. I had no idea you were so cynical. Well, sometimes it's called for. Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, I can let you have a couple of men, Essie. They can get that job done in an hour and be back at the plant here before, before anybody misses them. Yeah, very good. All right, it's a deal. See you in the morning. Hello there. Dad, this is Jake. Jake, this is my dad, Cal. Hi, Cal. I better get to my station. I've heard a whole lot about you. What was that you were doing on the phone just now? A barter system. Essie bakes all the bread for the Bean Christmas dinner every year for free in exchange for help on her house. It's good PR for the company, and we get something back for it. And your superiors are aware of that? Oh, well, sometimes you have to do a little creative thinking to keep things running, huh? I got a check on the line. You want to come with me? Sure. There you go. Who do you say you work for? Cobra. Farm Corporation. Cobra Farm Corporation. Oh, never heard of that one. We have land all over the West. Oh, the West. Huh. Yeah, our machinery is outdated. We're looking to modernize. Modernize, huh? Yeah. Beans are not like other corporations. You see, here at Beans, we recognize the importance of the worker. Loyalty, job, security. These things increase productivity. Now, a lot of other companies have downsized. They're no better off now than they were before they did it, and that's quite so. How do you know that? Ever hear of a paper called the Wall Street Journal? Yes, I have. I read it every day. You have to do a little arithmetic. You can put that in your notes. I hear the company's having financial problems. Where did you hear that? From your daughter, as a matter of fact. The Sun Beans tractor has been on the planet for 60-odd years, and that's because they recognize that just because you decrease expenses doesn't mean you increase sales. You got that? They pay decent wages, and in return, they get productive workers who buy beans. Okay? Now, in recent times, recent years, prices has gone up. That's getting harder to do. I don't deny that. What do you think? Well, I am impressed. Good, good. Now, are you ready to tell me the truth? Excuse me? Son, I wasn't born yesterday. Nobody sends their rep out three days before Christmas on an order of this magnitude. Most plants are shutting down about now. That's just business sense. How's it going? Fine, just fine. I think we have an understanding. Emma. You want to tell her, or should I? Emma, I, I don't work for a farm corporation. I don't have an order for 80 tractors. I don't even have an order for one. What? He works for beans. He came here to downsize the plant. He's the man who'll decide who stays and who goes. Oh, I don't believe this. Look, I, I tried to tell oh, you. You lied to us? Emma, just listen to me. You let us believe that you were going to save us. Emma! <laughs> Emma! It appears she's keen on you. Or should I say was?
Excuse me. Excuse me. May I get a cup of coffee and a uh, donut, please? <coughs> What'll it be? Uh, just a coffee, Margie, to go. I don't think I care to stay. I was just doing my job. That includes making fools out of all the folks in this town who trusted you. I guess you're doing it well. This company is in a financial crisis, you know. Would you rather have it shut down altogether? Maybe they ought to start downsizing at corporate headquarters. Right. Get rid of some of those extra executives, the ones that make three times what we do. Yeah. They can start with you. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they ought to come down on their prices. Bean tractors aren't for the little guy anymore. Maybe then there'd be more business. Right. There's lots of other ways to work it so you don't have to fire people. Job sharing and what all. Yeah. Read the New York Times. They talk about that stuff all the time. I am not chairman of the board. I work at Beans just the same as you do. There's nothing I can do about this. Right. I don't you getting your hands dirty. Right. Right. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Make up the room yourself. Okay, thank you. Merry Christmas. I'll have your room made up in no time, Mr. Peterson. I'm very sorry about this. By the way, sir, my name is Watson. Delmar P. Watson, you know, night shift at Beans. I'll take a wage cut, sir. I, I don't mind. Just don't take away my job. Please, sir. I have four children <laughs> and a mortgage. <laughs> One of my kids wants to be a veterinarian. You know how much money it costs to go to veterinarian school? I'll have your room right away, sir. I'll do it myself. Huh? No, don't, don't bother, Mr. Watson. Delmar P. Watson. No, it's, it's fine, just the way it is. Yes, sir. If there's anything you want, you just, you just let me know. I'd just like to be alone. Oh, sure, of course. Right away, sorry. The magic at the J.C. Penny Huge Sale, Saturday only. Save up to 60% store-wide. Extra savings before noon. This magic. Extra savings mean extra gifts. It's all inside. J.C. Penny. Every day I have lots to do. Never get completely through. But when it's time for us to eat, I make a meal complete. Grand's big and hearty. Come on, take a seat. Grand's biscuits. They complete the meal. Pour on the honey. This holiday, break with tradition with a Terry's chocolate orange. Rich chocolate with a touch of orange flavor you whack and unwrap. Terry's, the original chocolate orange, smashing good taste. And so with winter's coming, Santa's little helpers took up their hammers and set to work making the holidays happier. So what'd you expect? Elves? 
At the Home Depot, we're driving down the cost of gift giving with special buys like this Husky screwdriver set. 18 indispensable tools for just $15. And don't forget, Home Depot gift cards are always the right size. In store or online, the best gifts come in a bright orange box. The Home Depot. How do those missing teeth feel? Okay. I never minded losing teeth. You made the noodles easy to slurp. Try it. Campbell's has that comforting combination of tender chicken, fresh egg noodles, and a rich golden broth. <laughs> Campbell's, mm-mm, good. Your favorite family adventure is back. Littlefoot and Sarah and all their friends return in their all-new adventure, The Land Before Time, The Big Freeze. You are going into the mysterious beyond? No. Yes, maybe. Put your hands on your hips. Shoulders down. All new songs. Stomp your feet in the dirt. The Land Before Time, The Big Freeze, the latest chapter in the adventure series your family has known and trusted for years. Available today on video and DVD, Ready G. Medical studies suggest that cranberry juice cocktail with 27% cranberry juice provides you with important health benefits. If you prefer the taste of a blend but still want the health benefits of cranberry, look to Northland. All Northland blends have 100% juice, 27% of a cranberry. No one else can say that. Why buy as many as five bottles of another juice instead of one bottle of Northland to get the taste and health benefits you want? Northland, always 100% juice and 27% of a cranberry. Unwrap the magic at the JCPenney Huge Sale, Saturday only. Save up to 60% store-wide. Extra savings before noon. This magic. Extra savings mean extra gifts. It's all inside. JCPenney. Boscov's has what you want for Christmas, a big screen TV, Panasonic, Sony, Hitachi, Mitsubishi, and more. Only $19.99.99 for this Panasonic 47-inch widescreen high-definition ready TV, delivered and set up in your home in time for Christmas. Boscov bonuses with this model, free screen protector, projection setup, free satellite system, and 0% interest until 2003, only at Boscov's. It's the start of your day, and you've got to get moving. But what happened last night? What's happening today? And how will it affect you? Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Paula Zahn. For the latest news, check in with Paula Zahn and catch up with the world around you. There is now firm evidence linking... Take advantage of over 20 years of knowledgeable, trustworthy experience. Start your day with Paula Zahn every weekday morning at 7 a.m. Another reason you can depend on CNN. Accused of a federal offense, can his lawyer prove his innocence? Hector Elizondo, Victoria Principal, and Brian Dennehy, based on Scott Turow's best-selling novel, The Burden of Proof. At 7, Saturday night, on Lifetime, television for women. Yes, can I help you? I'm looking for Noel Murphy. Oh, she's just finished rehearsal. She might be in the day room, up the stairs along the corridor. Thank you. Hey, hi, Noel. Look, would you just listen to what I have to say? See, I'm sorry about the way things turned out, but I was forced to do it. You see, my company, they didn't want anybody to know who I was. You know, I'll bet this is the first time anybody's been shunned for not being a criminal, huh? Adults are supposed to be examples for young people such as myself. Is this the kind of behavior you'd want the youth of America to emulate? Hey, I have faults. Duh! Well, I'm sorry, but I need your help. I need to talk to your mom. She doesn't want to see you ever again. Yeah, I know. See, that's why I have to talk to her. What's she going to do without a job? I can't support the two of us. I'm not going to fire your mother. Is that what she thinks? That's what everybody thinks. Oh, man, this thing has gotten completely out of hand. You said it. But I have to talk to her. I have to explain. You made her like you, so she'd tell you everything that's going on at Beans. You used her. She likes me? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. What about this Tom? What about him? Look, I'm sure he's a very nice guy. He's just, he's not right for her. He wouldn't make a great dad. Like you. Wow. Thanks. So, does that mean you're going to help me? You're trying to trick me. No, I'm not. How do I know that for sure? Because you're going to have to trust me, you know, like, like you did the night we met. 
And look how that turned out. Oh, come on, Noelle, please. I'll have to think about it. But right now, I've got to go check on a real friend. One. I don't want to wear a tie. You've got to, Hap. All the other men are going to be wearing them. Well, I'll choke to death. My mom always says you have to suffer for beauty. I'll be right back. See ya. He wants me to stop by the jail. It'll only take a minute. I don't mind. Oh, by the way, Jake came by today. Why? He wanted me to help him get you to talk to him. He's got a lot of nerve. He told me how much he liked you. Then he saw Happy, and it was really weird. It looked like he'd seen a ghost. He likes me? Mom, you're not listening. How on earth did I ever fall for a man like that? Oh, what is wrong with me. You'd think a person would learn after all these years. Mom. What? It's just hormones. You'll get over it. Where are we going? Somewhere private. It's time you made a commitment to me. Now, I decided to forgive you for flirting with the man from Beans. He's a slick character. And you were fooled, and I don't blame you. But it's time that you and I quit beating around the bush and got married instead of just talking about it. I want to set a date. Oh, Tom. Come on, January, February, you name it. Oh, Tom. I can't marry you. I'm sorry. I, I thought I could. We're such good friends. I thought it would just uh, work out, you know? But now... You just don't have any feelings for me. Not what I ought to. I know. You do? Yeah. I've known for quite some time. It's just... I hoped it would change. We have such a good friendship. Let's not mess that up. Let's not. leaving for Chicago, but I just couldn't go till you hear what I have to say. So you're gonna go back and get a big promotion for laying us all off? I was just doing my job. Is harassing us part of your job? I'm not harassing you. He's not harassing yeah. us, Mom. Noel, then what do you call this? Asking for forgiveness. He's just asking for forgiveness. Come on, Noel, we've got gingerbread persons to make. Look, I, I didn't want to lie to you. I realize now it was a mistake, but I, I couldn't let you know what I was really doing here. Because I didn't want you to hate me. But I do hate you. And that's my right. By not telling me the truth about yourself, you were taking away my rights. Well, let me make it up to you. Fine. 
go back to Chicago and tell them that everyone here is essential. Emma, I can't do that. The numbers... Do it for me. Look, I run a business. Yes, and badly. Now, I'll tell you something. People in this state may be fools. We want to work. We'll do anything. We will work as long and as hard as you ask us to. Well, times have changed. We can't go on running these big oversized plants and losing money. The and... only reason you're losing money is because you haven't got a clue who folks are down here. You don't make what people You don't need. understand how hard it is to keep a business going these days. We have to make the... Downsizing's not hard. Downsizing is easy. Making things work, that's what's hard. Jake. You're not the kind of person who lies to people and then betrays them, no matter what it's for. That's not the real you. Well, maybe it is. I'm sorry things didn't work out. Me too. Merry Christmas. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. She really fell for you, you know. You really blew it. This year, they're only asking her for a miracle. They want you to take over for Doc Jenkins. And Jillian and Robert Hayes. I'll be home for Christmas. At 9 tomorrow night on Lifetime. Television for women. Singing sensation Destiny's Child broke apart just as they hit number one. How did they rebuild to become one of the top female groups in history? We're survivors. Intimate Portrait Destiny's Child. Premieres at 7, Monday night on Lifetime. Radio Shack, your RC headquarters. For extreme RC action, spins and wheelies, races and turns, fly like the wind, take a wild ride off-road, or the Ultra Orb from the Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius movie, blasting into theaters this Christmas. Extreme fun every kid wants. Batteries sold separately at your RC headquarters. Radio Shack. Introducing the Healing Garden Waters, inspired by waterborne botanicals. A new idea in fine fragrance. The Healing Garden Waters, holistic fragrances for mind, body, and spirit. Honey, you're going to be late for school. Gee, Mom, my throat hurts. I don't know if I go to school. Chloroseptic. It works fast. Maybe too fast. Try new grape chloroseptic for kids. Your eyes need nutrition as well as the rest of your body. So Centrum and Centrum Silver added lutein to help maintain your precious sight. Now your eyes, your toes, and everything in between are covered by Centrum and Centrum Silver. More complete from A to Zinc. Tom is rescue Roy. Okay, one, two, three. Teamwork. Rescue Roy, one, two, three, transport. That's tough. That's Tom. Hmm. 
smart fact from PetSmart. Pets like getting new toys as much as people do. That's why we have the widest selection of holiday gifts. And now, get photos of your pet with Santa for just $9.95. PetSmart, all you need for the life of your pet. What if you and me just drive up the coast and never come back? Once upon a time, a stranger came to town. You seem familiar to me. I don't even know who I am. Only to discover he might not be such a stranger after all. You are my son, Jim Carrey. Do you remember me? No, but I'll sure try. The Majestic, rated PG, starts Friday, December 21st. What's up, Shorty? Hey there, half fine. Muscle head. Bicep boy. Mr. Lift a lot. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you free on Saturday? Play Ultimate Outburst. You get a topic, then shop the answers. No shop. Facelift. Ultimate Outburst. Thanks for coming. It's 6.30. We just got here. Party's over, people. Come on. <gasps> nice seeing you. Get to bed early. Saturday from 7 to 10 a.m. Save an extra 10% off almost everything, even sale prices. Only at Sears. Before. And don't you move from those seats till your homework's all done. Tino's pizza rolls are so easy, kids can make them on their own. Pepperoni pizza stuffed into a bite-sized roll. To Tino's, it's how kids help themselves. We now return to Christmas in My Hometown on Lifetime. As we sat on the front porch, of that old gray house where I am. Are you leaving? Yes, sir, I have to get back for a meeting. I see. I suppose you made your decision. It's not mine to make, Mr. Marsden. I'm, I'm just bringing back my report. I understand. Well, I want you to know you can fire me. And uh, I wouldn't hold it against you. Mr. Marsden, I... You'd be doing me a favor. I wouldn't be able to sit back and let my friends and family lose their jobs while I was sitting up in that office keeping mine. Wouldn't be able to do that. Not like you, Mr. Peter. He just sat there silent, staring at his favorite coffee cup. I saw a storm of mixed emotion in his eye. When he looked up, he said, Son, I know at your age. Seems like this old world is turning slow And you think you'll find the answer to it all Where corn don't grow Hard times are real There's dusty fields No matter where you go You may change your mind Cause the weeds are high where corn don't grow well, We didn't think you were gonna make it, Jake. Bad weather. Well, shall we begin? Miss Stengel, your report, please. I went to the beans plant in Defiance, Illinois. The workforce is pretty efficient all the way around, but I noticed that a lot of couples work for beans. I would split these couples up, keeping one, laying off the other. That way, at least one person in each family will still have a job. Excellent idea. That just takes some of the sting off it, huh? George? I've been to the plant in North Deer, Iowa. I recommend cutting anyone with seniority and bringing up the less skilled, cheaper labor. By doing this, I can cut costs by more than a half. Who'll teach them how to do their new jobs? Oh, well, that will require um, someone from this office. Does anybody here know how to operate a crane? Jake. Jake, would you like to make your presentation now? <clears throat> I, uh, I was in Athens 
Nebraska. And uh, my suggestion is, um, I mean, I think we can we can cut corners. That, uh, look, I, I can't do this. I mean, we're talking about people's lives here, whole towns. There's got to be a better way. I'm. You take the people in Athens, for example. Most of the people in Athens have, have worked at Beans at some point in their lives. Half of them work there now. We downsize this plant. Those people are going to lose their jobs. Property values will plummet. These people are going to move out of town. This town will be ruined. I, I, I can't let that happen. What do you propose? Well, it just seems to me that the people of Athens are producing a product that's passe. What do you mean, passe? I mean, they're making a product that's too big for the small farmer. They're making a product that they can't even afford to buy themselves. And they make decent wages, as we all know. We're in the tractor business, Jake. We make tractors. Yeah, but we could do so much more. We need to downsize our product, not our plants. We need to make what people can use and afford. Um, so I, uh, I have a plan. I, I propose that I take over management of the Athens plant. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead, you laugh. I want to introduce a versatile new product, and I want to reassign jobs rather than eliminate people. Hope your resume is up to date. Come on. Inside every American is a secret farmer waiting to buy his or her own beans mean machine, but they can't afford it. It could be kind of cute. And in addition, the Beans Tractor Corporation would be known as the King Wenceslaus of the corporate world. You just think about that, Mr. Gosling. We could be a big corporation that people might actually feel good about. Jake, you've never run a factory. That's true. Mr. Gosling, you once told me that a man in a powerful position has to make difficult decisions. Well, downsizing, that isn't difficult. Making things work. That's what's difficult. That's what I want to do. You said I have talent. Let me use that talent. Please. Jake, uh, would you please step out of the room for a minute? It was a great speech you made. Thanks. Am I out of a job? I don't know. But look at it this way. At least you'll have a life. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Jake, can we come back in now? This program is sponsored by AT&T. Win $1,000 in holiday cash by using 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls.
This holiday, stay connected to the people who matter most. With the shared Advantage plan from AT&T Wireless, you'll get unlimited local calling between plan members. So dad could talk to mom, mom could talk to the kids, and the kids could talk to each other as often as they like. Start with two phone lines for $59.99 a month and add up to three more for only $9.99 each. You can also get up to five free phones with nationwide long distance included and plenty of minutes to go around. All for life. Call 1-800-IMAGINE today for a gift that will have the whole family talking. Get to work! Dusty. Dusty, my talking tool bench from Tonka, huh? Nailed it! Hey, you're hammering just like the old man. Over here! Me too! Dusty, my talking tool bench. That's Tonka. This holiday season, share the gift of Stetson. Tino's pizza rolls are so easy, kids can make them on their own. Pepperoni pizza stuffed into a bite-sized roll. Tatino's, it's how kids help themselves. Well, I'm one of seven children, so the holidays are pretty busy. We have family in New York City, family in Atlanta. The list is quite long. That would be perfect for Clifford and Cole. There are so many things that you can buy at Walmart.com. And the best thing is they wrap and ship your gifts. They have all the kind of toys you want. They have DVDs. For Jen's mom, maybe some jewelry. I don't know. Maybe jewelry or a gift basket. It's just a great combination of convenience, and you still get the Walmart prices. It's hard being away from family and friends. This way, we can still share the holidays. Shh, my husband has a bad cough. But he'll sleep all night because I gave him Robitussin Maximum Strength. You can't buy a stronger cough medicine for all-night relief. So he can sleep, and so can I. Robitussin Maximum Strength. Nighttime strong. fights to save her son. I want those kids at every meeting so you can see just exactly who it is you're poisoning. A grandmother struggles with her daughter's death. I lost my Yolanda to cancer too soon. Alone, they're powerless. I'm scared. I think I'm being followed. But together, they're unstoppable. You just oh, wait a minute. They're not gonna get away with it. Taking back our town. <laughs> a true story about the power that lies in each of us. Premieres at 9, Monday night, only on Lifetime. Want to explore more of your world? Just wander into your living room. Get more eye-opening nature and science channels from Comcast Digital Cable. I'm Lou Tilly. Tonight on the Sports Connection. One-on-one -on -one with World Series co-MVP Kurt Schilling. Plus, is the season too close to call? The latest from Inside NFL Football. The Sports Connection. Tonight at 11, only on CN8. The moments you treasure shouldn't be ruined by your bank. Mom, what's wrong? I just got another bank statement. They keep adding on and increasing the fees. It's getting ridiculous. You've got to change banks, Mom. Try Franklin Savings Bank. My account has no monthly fee, plus they pay me interest on balances of $25 or more. You know, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Franklin Savings Bank. Tension-free checking that's right for you. Why? 
Because I may not have a job anymore, and we're going to need every cent that we have to make it through the winter. Put the box in a safe place, and we'll take them back tomorrow. Noel. Thank you. I've never had a nicer present in my life. Christmas dinner. I'm glad to see how many of you were able to make it this year, particularly since you're aware that we may not be together next year. Now, this dinner started way back that many years ago because we felt like a family. And now our family is being split up. You got a lot of guts coming back here, son. I got that right. Listen, I know, I, I know how y'all feel. No, you don't. Well, we're not gonna talk business now. It's Christmas. We're gonna have a nice meal. We're gonna count our blessings. We're gonna be charitable to our enemies. And, and, and that's it. So, let's say grace. Lord. You test us all the time, and right now, you're testing us in any number of ways. We're gonna be out of work pretty soon, and that's a test. And that's all on account of this young man that you brought to our table, and that's a test. But we're not gonna toss him head first into the snow. We're not gonna put a laxative in his turkey dinner, either. And, uh, we're just going to endure his presence, Try to get through it in honor of you. Amen. Amen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. Uh, I hate to interrupt, but uh, I uh, have an announcement to make. Uh, I've just returned from Chicago where I was given the go ahead to implement change of plan here at the bean plant in Athens. Um, I'm going to be taking it over. Well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, young man. But what do you know about running a plant? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Which is why I'm going to need your help, Cal. And I am going to need everybody's help. Because we are going to produce a new line new line of economy tractors with plows and nobody is getting laid off That's pretty good I'll drink to that <laughs> It's not my idea it's the uh, brainchild of one of Bean's new managers. She's sitting right over there. Emma Murphy. Now, folks, we have got one year to turn this plant around. Yeah, well, we can do it. Yeah. We'll do anything to keep Bean's open. If we all pull together, I know we can do it. Because Athens, 
is a wonderful, wonderful place. And it's filled with wonderful people. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Down here, son, we got a lot to talk about. This is half on your left here. for my own good. No, I'm sorry. So am I. This here is your son? Yep. Huh? Yep, my son. <laughs> nice suit. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. Proud of you, son. Thanks, Papa. Mom and Tom broke up. to make a fool of yourself, eh? I can't make her want me. You want to repeat the past? You want to end up like me, willing to miss out on your son's life on account of my pride? No. Take my advice, son. Make a fool of yourself. Split up, huh? Yeah. How come? I just realized that although I love Tom very much, I don't love him the way that I love the way that he needs. I see. So, you're moving to Athens. Yeah. That'll be a switch. Phew, sure will. Do you think you'll like it? Well, you know, I spent so many years trying to be something other than who I really was that I kind of forgot myself. Maybe now I'll get my memory back. Well... If you ever need any help, you know where to find me. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna Emma. go back. Can I come over sometime? When? Oh, maybe tomorrow night. And the night after that. And the night after that. Jake, um... It's real nice of you to come back here and make amends and all. And everybody's real grateful. I, um... I just don't think that I can forgive you for what you did. Maybe. Maybe we can just start over and get to know each other from scratch. Just take it 
real slow. Do you think we could? It's worth a try, isn't it? It's wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, I, I forgot to give you your Christmas present. office. I found it. Thought it could use a good home. Happy? Where'd you get this? All over. Angels all over town this time of year. I wanted to give them to those who need them most. Oh, my God. Happy's the Christmas burglar. What? <laughs> <laughs> he gave you my angel back. <laughs> Lifetime. Everything's set for Christmas, but this year they don't want presents. We need a doctor. Find us a doctor yet? This is our 